thanks thanks for your introduction and uh, thanks for thanks for uh, everybody to uh, to join in and being being here uh, so uh, let's uh, we are actually talk, I'm going to talk a little bit about the smart buildings and especially from the digitalization and IoT uh, perspective so just to kind of start and set the stage so uh, what, what is a smart building? I mean, that's a good question. I mean, there are sure for a lot of different abbreviations and uh, meaning, meanings for smart buildings. Uh, so let's try to clarif clarify that a little bit uh, today. And uh, feel free to connect me on LinkedIn or directly by email or phone. Happy to discuss more about these topics. Let's set the stage and look at the uh, different players in the smart building sector. All of them, from renovation team to owners and service providers and building users, all have different needs uh, of, of their targets. How to visualize designing designs and multiple different views and tools, and how to utilize the data and provide the most efficient working conditions, avoiding tasks that are redundant or even unnecessary. So even a simple task as a user to finding a room or a colleague to perform better during the day. One thing for sure is that it's not only about occupancy data, but it's more comprehensive data that is needed to be beneficial for all of these players in the smart buildings. As stated, uh, there are multiple different, different stakeholders in the smart buildings and, uh, that are involved in the smart facilities and smart buildings, such as facility service providers, building managers, owners, cleaners, and of course, building users. They all require different services and solutions to improve their own performance on building efficiency. Applications for different users and requirements varies from occupancy info, space optimization, energy optimization, and from proof of concept to scalable and commercial deployments. So, but common factor for all these is sure the need of data in the right time and the right place. There are multiple levels of integration from sensor to sensor to cloud to cloud all needs to be considered uh, to have smooth operations end-to-end. -end. Complex end-to-end -end full IoT and data collection solutions are complex beasts due to supports for all the phases of the IoT lifecycle. If they are not considered and handled smart, uh, handled, smart solutions do come complex and hard. To improve your work, you need to have a solid solution to help you data collection that you don't have to worry about multiple small things like connectivity, security, how to connect the data from, uh, from and between platforms to direct connections to Amazon or Azure uh, APIs or even custom integrations to your own systems. For, for most, connectivity, speed and security are the top of their priorities. So it's crucial to know where, how, and who is involved during the end-to-end -end process, starting from the manufacturing. Applying a flawless end-to-end -end security, starting from the factory, when there is a possibility to enable custom-specific security practices to a solution. So are everybody aware where the complete solution from sensors, gateways, and software are designing and manufactured? Regardless of the availability of the data, you also need to take security into account. Security is not something that you can just add at the final step on the product, product development phase. Instead, it must be part of the product manufacturing design and development from the day one. Adding smart solutions to a building such as offices, schools, and public spaces is known to increase well-being, productivity, and visitor satisfaction. Smart solution in office ensure easy co-working and sharing of information as well as better workflow with ease and fine to book meeting rooms and workstations. Good air quality also adds up less sick leaves and overall better employee well-being. Especially after COVID pandemic, there, has, there needs to be a good reason to go back to the office. Coffee and desk don't necessarily cut it anymore, and there is a growing demand from the employees and visitors for better facilities and services there. With smart solutions, the users can get the most out of their spaces, they use and save rental space as you will have factual data of your space usages. Facility management will, will flow efficiently with optimized cleaning, heating and air conditioning. In addition, you can save energy costs to make your facilities more greener. Can you turn any building then into smart and what does that require? There has been a lot of discussion about these new buildings being smart, but the new buildings, buildings are just a, fraction of the existing building stock. There are obviously challenges in both cases. 
in the new buildings does the constructor want to invest in the new digital services and solutions or just build with the same efficiency and model they have worked in the past and what the beneficial benefits is for them in this use case in the old and existing buildings there are other challenges from installing a new solutions and services with cost effective way or even possibly due to the limitations or what kind of construction improvements can be done without the disruption or even wiring through the walls on the other hand all these kind of a retrofitted, totally wireless IoT solutions can make the, any building smart. So let's cover a few of these use cases for smart facilities. You can monitor the usage space and assets like meeting rooms, workstation, and equipment. You can monitor environmental factors like temperature, air quality, and humidity to make facilities management smart. The solutions can be integrated to a smart to a building automation system and air conditions and heating can be adjusted automatically to optimal levels and environmental factors can be adjusted according to the usage. Usage and occupancy info is not only for facility management use cases. With IoT solutions, cleaning can be turned to need-based where there are, there are areas for, for example, workstations that are used are cleaned. This ensures hygienic spaces for, and saves precious time and resources of the cleaning, cleaning staff. How do you turn existing building into a smart building and even human centric where you can create the most best possible working environment to employees perform better, easier to enjoy and spending more time there. All these use cases should start with a thought that what are we planning to improve and who is the end user? That could be to have more time to imp imp important tasks when unnecessary checks are eliminated, use less time finding colleagues and so on. The simple data from smart building is not valuable as its own, but when you get this, when you get the data to the customer and they got to see what what and act on it, then it will start to add value. Scalability may not be the most exciting, but probably the most practical. Creating a small a small proof of concept using widely available do-it-yourself kits it's relatively easy, but when you need to scale the implementation to thousands or hundreds of thousands of sensors things get a little bit more complicated. You need to consider how easily this can be done and would require minimum effort and number of people to install this. Otherwise, your business case is not feasible. If installations of thousands of devices or sensors require specialists to make it a whole deployment, it's kind of hard to justify. A well-designed solution that is easy and fast, uh, fast, fast to scale, secure, and easy to use, and of course, cost efficient. The challenge with the scalability, they are not only about adding more devices, but also maintaining them. Consider what it takes to keep the, uh, the IoT devices on several locations operating efficiently, monitoring their health levels to remote for, uh, firmware updates and over the entire life cycle. All through these issues seems to be adds some complications to the mix when you consider implementing IoT to your operations. The efforts will be more than rewarding in the savings received. There are many different levels of efficiency we can add with the new digital services. We all know the two ways of develop business, optimize resources or create new business models and services. Let's cover a few ways to improve business efficiency. It has been studied and proven by researchers, researchers that there is a positive, positive correlation between well-being and productivity. Adding smart solutions to offices and other places of employment is meant to improve your well-being and that will cons consequently improve productivity too. Smart building solutions to improve well-being can be achieved with IoT. Solutions can be used to minimize waste of time in finding co-workers searching for available meeting rooms or desk to optimize air quality and follow environmental conditions such as temperature and humidity. Smart building solutions like healthy and empathic building can also support safe return to the office during the pandemic like COVID. Using occupancy IoT sensors can create occupancy heat maps, monitor social distancing and monitor visitor rates. I'll cover this a little bit later uh, in more detail. Increase of flexibility and ability to choose where and when to work creates a need for a new approach and the need of collecting actionable data of your surroundings. 
with factual information of space occupancy rates and visitor counting, it is possible to optimize office space, lighting and environmental conditions, to name a few. More concretely, it's possible to know how often a meeting room has been booked and how full it has been. This data can trigger the action to increase the ventilation and reduce the air conditioning temperature during the peak hours. Or to split meeting room that has not been booked often, but it, with a lower percentage of occupancy into two different purposes and decoration. Solutions will provide the data needed for decision making on how and where to optimize activity based working areas, such as their size, amount, purpose and achieve results. The in initiative will generate savings in rent, energy bills, as well as reduce maintenance cost and absenteeism. When designing with end-to-end -end features and capabilities, solutions need to be retrofitted to a building without any added downtime to install for installation and setups. In addition, when the data is streamed and registered online in cloud-based system, it's easier to cross-analyze and the data and share it with relevant stakeholders. The, sh the share of data across facility owner, facility management, and facility user will lead to a better user use and optimization of space, but but also more accountability. Material resources are becoming scarce and people are increasingly conscious, conscious, conscious about, for, about them. For some, we become aware granularly and others are immediate. And in few cases, due to external reasons, we learn about the redundancy. IoT solutions can help, can be used to optimize material usage as well by providing important data to pro produce only the number of number of physical products. For example, fill rate sensors solutions, it's possible to know how much clean towel is left and eliminate replacing an 80% clean hand towel roll and send it to washing. This will save cleaning cycles in the wash washing centers and pollution from detergents. In addition, it will help prioritize cleaning tasks, reduce the number of steps for cleaners and the long run, 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 long run lessen the need of unnecessary logistics. From improved work, workforce, workforce well-being and efficiency of, smart, efficiency of smarter use of materials, IoT solutions offer better ways of doing things in all business sectors. Some businesses focus on improving just one area and some do it all. But one thing is clear, the possibilities of IoT improving business efficiency seem to be endless and new solutions and success stories are merging fast. Let's talk about a little bit about the safe return to the office. So prevention is, is obviously the key when we are talking about using digital solutions to fighting against the viruses and pandemics. Right now, all over the world, people are thinking about returning back to their offices and workplaces. Public spaces are opening, but the fear of new wave of pandemic has a constant state of unknown. Prevention of COVID-19 can be summed up in three things. Efficient cleaning, good hand hygiene, and social distancing. Luckily for us, the IoT could help in all of these things. Cleaners have taken a big role in the fighting against the pandemic. Efficient cleaning is one of the most important elements of viruses prevention and cleaning efforts have been made and enhanced everywhere. Moving away from this tra traditional way of professional cleaning where the cleaners make rounds all around spaces has become more necessary during the COVID crisis. Smart washrooms are an excellent example of how digital solutions provide us with, the, uh, with this information. Smart sensor devices, the monitor of people that have gone through the washroom door and can detect the with the, which, which stores are occupied. With IoT and smart cleaning solution, we want to be proactive in helping the cleaning staff use of their time and the most efficient way. Clean, clean, clean the areas that are required cleaning as quickly as possible and also be able to share the cleaning information effortlessly. Washroom can be marked clean by the cleaner and all of this information can be shown in the info displays outside of the washroom. This way the users are informed if the washroom is available, when it has been cleaned, avoid not necessary contacts and feeling safe. When all things are connected, the information of available washrooms can be displayed in the info screens and other required platforms as well. Visitor and occupancy monitoring enable more efficient cleaning in offices as well. Uh, as well. This can be mean, for example, heat maps of your office that has shown which areas have been used 
at the same time, the cleaners know what spaces need to be clean and save their valuable time. For workstations and phone booths, small wireless sensors devices detect movement and can tell when they are occupied. This enables the cleaner, cleaning staff to disinfect used desks and mark them clean and available for the next users. The best way to prevent the spread of disease, uh, any disease, for the, that matter, is a good hand hygiene. We were all quickly informed of the, how, of the correct steps of washing and sanitizing your hands. To maintain good hand hygiene at all time, all washroom needs to be stocked with hand towels and paper, soap and hand, hand, hand sanitizers. IoT, IoT can be used to monitor the dispensers, fill rates in public washrooms with the wireless sensor devices that are simply placed inside of the dispensers from where they me measure the fill rates send information on the status and notification when supplies are running low. The, co the goal, of course, is the users will not even know about these kind of systems being in place, but simply that the washroom they are using are never out of stock and are, are clean. This solution has been proven to save time of the cleaning staff as they don't have to perform unnecessary checkups, but can only stock up the washroom that are running low, saving their time and clean areas that need to be cleaned. IoT can also be used to ensure that the requirements of social distancing are, met, are being met. The usage and occupancy information are not only valuable for the cleaning and facility management staff, but also the end user so that they can return the office, office as safe as possible. In smart offices, people can see occupancy and capacity information and book work, workplace remotely. Smart solutions can give you available works, workspace that have not been used or that are cleaned. They, are, they, they also show what capacity of users are in the building. You can see, you can set up the threshold for people and, and the uh, solutions gives the users the notification of a full capacity. This way your workers can simply check their office information in the morning. In smart offices and buildings, IoT solutions can work the same way in the worst case scenario. For example, ID tags, which which one of the share their location to share colleagues can also help quickly inform if the case of COVID has been detected. Censoring is not actually just about measuring data and monitoring. It's about getting valuable information from the users and making that information easily available. Whether it's information about cleaning, visitor occupancy, IoT solutions can help the fighting against the viruses and pandemic and ease of your worries by making the return to public spaces and offices safe. There are multiple different reasons to continue remote working after pandemic, and there needs to be a clear reason to return to the office. Everyone's situation is different. Can they work from home? Are there distractions? Maybe kids, not enough rooms? How's the internet connection? Can the work be performed outside of the office at all? Not to mention these numerous personal reasons, such as no need to commute and sit in the traffic, remote working increases your job satisfactions, and you are more productive, and so on. How does this digital solution support your return to the office? With the, uh, what is the reason to go back to the office? As I said in the beginning, what, what does the require from the office spaces? What kind of areas are needed? Offices need to be easily adjust. Is there enough meeting rooms that they are utilized fully? Or is there a need to divide big meeting rooms in multiple small ones? What kind of working areas are needed and how they are utilized? Do you have accurate data, data to support this? And how do you get it? Interactions with the other people is one of the most important reasons to return to the, the office. People are looking for collaboration and team bonding, not to mention the social element. People are also missing on different activities, such as eating something else than a microwave food at home, dressing for work, getting their daily steps, etc., etc. There are good reasons to, for individuals to return to the office if the services are easily available there. Superior digital end user experience helps people to be productive and not to waste time on looking for free meeting rooms and find comfortable conditions to work. All these can be achieved with healthy and empathic building solutions to improve employee experience and help employees to feel happier, more inspired and perform better. If the collaboration and bonding is important in business success, then every day more than the mandatory that your company can nudge you back to the office is a win. 
it has increased the opportunity or amount of collaboration and bonding and casual collisions. As all the workdays are different and consist of multiple different tasks, the reliable and useful data is needed to adjust and make the fast decisions to get space used in the best possible way. Example, are there enough meeting rooms or and are they utilized fully or should they be used for some other way? Digital solutions by Haltian helps people on daily routines as well being finding more suitable working conditions to finding right people at the right time. We have actually made IoT easy with our solutions for smart buildings and factories, improving employee and visitor satisfaction performance. Let's focus on these on smart offices, but I'm also happy to share uh, what we have done in factories that they are also considered as a smart building. Building maintenance and facility service providers are in a big row where there are several tasks to cover, but let's focus on cleaning. That is a characterized labor intensive with time consuming distances between cleaning areas and unpredictable needs of supplies and maintenance. How can customer had inventory of millions of towel rolls, but didn't have real time data to view the towel usages and had to reserve excess inventory to react on the demand. The end user and customers often ended up with the restroom lacking in hand towels and tissues, which reduced the user experience in the facility, eventually hurting the customer's bottom line. Sensors are measuring the fill rate inside of the dispensers and providing info about the consumption and fill, uh, refill needs. Sensors are counting the people using the facilities, providing use, use, usage level data for the application. Cleaning staff receive, receives alarms to their mobile device and uh, and ensure pro uh, proactively that there is always enough paper and towels in dispensers. Haltian Smart Washroom for demand-based cleaning helps to optimize cleaning and offer, offer customers better services. Business do not pay extra for places that have not been used and service providers can actually save money in materials. How about uh, building owners? Surely they want to keep value of their properties high, but not, not to pay any extra for the utilities. Adding healthy and smart building solutions, providing proof and factual data of utilization conditions and feedback helps employees and business make better decisions and improve their performance, regardless if there's a need for quiet space or when the cleaning is needed. You can turn any building into a human centric with healthy and empathic building solution. Where the entire building is made, made for creating the best possible working environment. After all, employee satisfaction in the inspiring working environment is known to ripple down for better performance, motivation, and fewer sick leaves. Purpose of uh, purpose with healthy and empathic building is to inspire and create the best possible employee experience and giving tools for employees to enhance collaboration and co-innovation. Service enables user-friendly way to visualize the building information in real time and easiest to work easiest to work days. Solutions gathers data from the sensors to example conditions and indoor positioning to visualize it is for the users and the end users. Here's a short checklist how you can start with smart building project with, with Haltian and uh, starting getting value, value and savings with your collecting data easily. Get yourself basic overview of data and the use cases that you are trying to achieve. Take special care of defining environmental requirements. Define whether you have sparse or dense physical installation in, of the data points. Describe your application layer and do you already have cloud or application that you can manage the data or do you need the dashboard and cloud services uh, for your use case. Technical walkthrough session to explain how the device work, how the data is transmitted, what are the APIs, how the application and dashboard works and other relevant technical topics for your use case. All the devices are pre-installed and pre-configured so that all you need to do is turn them on. Start experimenting with the fully functional IoT setup. See how the data behaves, identify the changes you may have and what devices are configured, behave, uh, behave, be configured and behavior. Have a fun with the apps and dashboards and then scale up the pilot and fully commercial solution in a simple process when working with complete end-to-end -end, uh, IoT solutions from Haltian. We will manage everything related to hardware connectivity so that they can focus, uh, so you can focus on creating the actual applications and service layers. The most important thing is to start. When you start getting your data, also start realizing new ways of working and what kind of a benefits you get. So define your use case, 
pilot and then scale it up. Some additional information you can find uh, on the study about building digital, uh, digital uh, twin that was actually made by my colleague, Mr. Ken Dooley, who is also a pro, uh, postdoctoral researcher for smart buildings at Halto, uh, Aalto University here in Finland. Take a look at Haltian website for smart offices, where you can find more info and use cases what we have solved and for our customers. So thank you for your time. Happy to discuss in more detail with you and how we can help you with your smart building projects. Contact me by phone, email, connect on LinkedIn or Twitter. I will continue the discussions. That's pretty much all what I have. So thanks for your time. And uh, now I think we have a Q&A session uh, with, uh, with Walter. Yes, you so. Uh, thank you very much uh, for this uh, for the presentation. Um, well, everybody is, well, everybody, well, the, the industry, real estate industry is really looking forward uh, for, for smart buildings because we, we had this pandemic, of course, and uh, well, we, I guess everybody wants to go back to the office, but we want to go back to a healthy office. So um, how easy is your solution uh, to deploy in, in, in used buildings? Existing buildings. Uh, so, super. <laughs> so, so, super easy. Even I have actually done it. So I mean, it's 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 it, it's really simple. I mean, as I said, everything comes as a pre-configure. So we are uh, so everything. What you need to do is basically it's just you plug in the gateway, you remove the battery slip, and the data is starting to flow, and it's super easy. We have uh, I, I did it for a few of our customers uh, here in here in Finland, uh, and uh, we did uh, multiple uh, let's say hundreds of hundreds of sensors uh, in a half a day so we are talking about really really fast and we are actually you don't need to actually do any disturbances for the offices so you can do it and i think now it's a good time to do it when the office occupancy is not that necessary that high what it used to be and let's say when we are talking about low low percentage of people in place so you can do it without yeah, do you see that also well. happening right now that real estate owners are really um um uh, calling you right now to uh, to implement the stuff really fast really open or yeah what do you see happening? Yeah, I, I would not have have any problems for them calling me more. Uh, obviously, of course, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But yes, uh, I I think they they are starting to realize that they, they, there there needs to be something happening right now. So people need to actually uh, start actually thinking about what is kind of this kind of a post. Uh, kind of safe return to the office situation, what kind of information they need, because it's not necessarily information lacking, but they also need to understand how they can utilize the data, what they can do with the data, when what information may be missing from their current info, current data, uh, data yeah, cool. set as well. Well, we have a question from uh, Milan uh, from Slovakia. Uh, Milan Bognar, uh, Bogar, uh, has your concept of apathetic uh, buildings changed more dramatically in the last months due to the pandemic or, or pandemic? Um, has just increased demand of these solutions as they were ready before? Uh, our solution has actually been ready ready before, and uh, obviously maybe some additional use cases have been uh, have been erased and have uh, have been more relevant uh, today uh, in, during the pandemic. Uh, so, for example, I mean this kind of a uh, yeah, information about uh, that maybe uh, how is the uh, social distancing? So, are you are you uh, how is the distance between other colleagues? And obviously, this kind of a clean desk policies. So, if you are going into the office. No, I mean the, the, it was it was not that it was not that that uh, that uh, that much. But obviously, I mean, some of them were thinking about. But the clean desk policy, for example, that you can actually select the clean table that has been there that has been cleaned, or you know that nobody has been actually sitting there yeah. today. Yeah, cool. So, yeah. Those, those so uh, one more question: uh, What is the the, the main uh, industry or sector where uh, who are your customers right now? Yeah, the obvious to say the main, the main sector, sector is, is for smart buildings, uh, smart buildings in overall. And as we know, I mean, there are multiple different, so a lot of different industry. layers. I mean, you have from from the owners, yeah, from the owners to facility service companies uh, and to the uh, end users. So those are those. are. But and it's interesting to see that who is actually the kind of the provider of these kind of a new kind of services. Is it the owner or is it the ma management companies or is it the facility service companies? Who, who is the right or, or let's say the new uh, new player in this sector so th those kind of a, those kind of customers but we are 
obviously seeing that uh, this kind of uh, let's say real estate players overall are, are really really uh, in, in the mix currently and now are looking for where do you see the most happening is it the investors is it the owners is it the property managers where where, where is it happening <laughs> I, I'm, uh, we are seeing we are seeing the kind of the big corporations because they are understanding the value that they are actually bringing the off people back to the offices so how they can actually uh, let's say nudge the people back to the offices that's that's kind of a, what we are seeing is, is is a big but also the uh, kind of the building management uh, building management and facility service providers because they are responsible for the let's say the uh, 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 the, the cleaning and the healthy health of the of the building and the hygiene and so forth yeah so because they need data important. to prove that it's really healthy yeah and they don't have it right now exactly. so they really need to bring something yeah. in place to to bring exactly. that data yeah 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 yeah, especially if you think about the old days. I mean, you have everybody have seen in this, uh, for example, in the in the toilets and washrooms that there has been this uh, uh, <laughs> there, there has been this uh, paper paper uh, glued or taped into the uh, hand hand towel dispenser, and then you're actually marking a smiley face. I mean, it's not no. digital data, so, uh, <laughs> so so this these kind of things are for sure uh, are, are, yeah. are more more important today. And kind of having this kind of a data data database. And who is going to benefit to from these solutions? Is it the owner? Is it the investor? Is it the property manager? Is it the facility manager? Who is going to uh, yeah, benefit? They 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 all have different they all have different uh, different uh, targets that they want to achieve. But I think that uh, obviously the end users uh, are looking for a great user experiences. I mean, what else is what is more annoying than if you are going to the to the toilet and there is no paper? I mean that's that's the kind of the worst thing what what could happen. Uh, so, uh, but uh, obviously uh, the end users are, are are definitely benefiting. But also, if you think about the other end, the owners, I mean they can they can benefit from that as well because they know that always that the uh, the data uh, and and services that they are providing in their buildings are are superior and are are kind of the best user experience. So obviously people would like to go in these kind of facilities. And then if we think about the facility service providers, if they can actually save in the for example in in some of the some of the materials some of the cleaning staff uh, that they don't need to actually assign that many people into the cleaning services and so forth yeah, that, cool. that's the same yeah i think so too well i guess uh we're running out of questions maybe we have one more here let me see if i can look into that no but i see that uh your colleague uh paulo lopez is uh, uh putting on some great stuff in into the comments with links to uh to uh, to himself but also to some solutions so click on that if you're watching this <laughs> and go to the website of, uh, of Haljan and Which then way we, uh, uh, we hope that we uh, well we'll see you back uh, soon in one of our other events and uh, attending there as well absolutely Thank, thanks for having us I mean this this is a really great event and uh, kind of getting this kind of uh, let's say insights of this uh, inside of this uh, prop tech prop tech sector so great thank really you very much and uh, speak to you soon Thank you.